Tinker Time. Okay, first thing we're going to use is this piece. We're going to take this out to the work plane. And the dimensions for this one is going to be 120 by 120 here. Okay, there we go, 120 by 120. And then we're gonna take the sides all the way in. We're gonna take it all the way to 64. And then we'll go down here to segments. We'll turn that all the way up to 10. And then bevel, we'll take that down here just to right about halfway or so. So it should look like this. Okay. And then next, what we're gonna do, we will take a block subtraction piece here we're going to just make that nice and big and we'll go over the entire item then we're going to grab the little black icon here and we're going to this arrow and we're going to drag this down and we are going to take it all the way down to where you see where the bevel comes up on the piece if i can get my camera to okay right here where you see the bevel comes up there now what we'll do is we'll hit the control key and then arrow down Oops, first take the snap grid right here. We'll take that down to one millimeter. Okay, and so then we're gonna select our subtraction piece. And then what we'll do is we'll hit the control key, we'll hold that and then arrow down to where you see how it matches up perfectly right there where the bevel stops. Okay, so now we're going to combine these two. There we go. What this is going to do is make the bottom perfectly flat. So when we go to 3D print it, there's no issues with uh, adhesion to the build plate as far as how the piece sticks to your build plate. It'll avoid warping around the edges and everything. So that's pretty cool. We'll stick it right there. Now we'll take our ruler and you can see all the dimensions of it here. And if you don't use the ruler, that's fine. This is just a quick way to look sort of in depth at your dimensions and how it looks according to the work plane. Now you can see we're one and a half millimeters above the work plane. So we're going to need to go ahead and take this down to zero. And that way we know we're working with it flat on the table, so to speak. Okay. Okay. At this point, we want this object to be about 20 millimeters high. So we're going to put this at 20, this is two zero enter. That's 20 millimeters. Now we want to give it a five millimeter base, but we want the interior of it to be hollowed out. The fastest way to do that is to click on the object and hit control D, which will duplicate the object. Then from that point, we'll just take this down from 120 to 116. So 116 and the same for this 116 for that side. Awesome. Now that we have that set, we're going to align the pieces. Okay. We'll hit the alignment key. Okay. All right. And then we'll make this taller. Okay. And we'll make it a hole. The next step is going to be, what we want to do is make sure that we leave a five millimeter base here. So we don't want to completely chop it out to the bottom, as you can see here. So what we want to do is, turn this bottom piece here into a hole, take the top piece and we'll turn that to a solid. Okay. And this will help us visualize what this looks like. Okay. And we'll change this to five millimeters on the snap grid. Okay. We'll select the top piece here so we don't get the bottom, just the top. We're going to hit control. We'll hold the control key and then arrow up once. And that's going to give us a five millimeter base. Okay. Now we'll just turn this one back into a solid. Turn this one into a hole, okay? And at this point, we know that it's aligned and we have a five millimeter base. So we're gonna go ahead and combine these objects. And now we have our bottom plate. And this is what the jewelry or the extra tie holders can go into, but we still need our overarching piece here with the hook on it. So that way it'll hold the hair ties. So next we're going to scoot this over to the side and now we're going to use the sketch tool. The sketch tool is something that's new and recently implemented into Tinkercad. So I'll show you how to use that right now. We'll take the sketch tool, put it out here. All right. Okay. And what we want here is something in the shape of an L. So basically we'll just go, we'll go from here to here. We'll go down over to right about here up 
about there. Okay, once we have that set, we can move this up just a little bit. What's neat is we can restructure this. Now, when you're manipulating these pieces, um, it's real important to remember you want your snap grid set to 0 0.1 millimeters. This will give you fine control over how you can manipulate these shapes here in a second. If you have it set to anything higher than that, you just have less control and less finer adjustments. So I'll show you how that works. So now we want to give this sort of a hook to make it look kind of cool. So when you select a piece that's between the two dots, okay, and we're going to grab this piece. So I can take this and shape it. Okay, so we're gonna bring it, we're gonna bring it out to here. And this piece we want we don't want it too thick, but let's let's bring it over here so now it kind of leans in that same direction. Okay, and now this top piece, we want to bring it, we want to give it sort of a hump piece here, and this will give it a structurally, so we'll give it a, a good setup for the hook piece. Now we'll bring this piece down and there's our hook piece as it forms here. We're gonna move this over. Okay, you wanna make sure that this has the right shape. Okay. Bring this in. Bring this up here, about like that. I want a sharp edge there. Okay. There we go. There. We go that should work good that's the shape that we're going to use and then we'll hit finish sketch okay now we want this to be a little bit bigger we're going to hold the shift key and then select the corner icon and we're going to make it a little bit bigger set it over here we're going to align these two pieces by selecting both of them hit the alignment key and then just hit this icon here to make sure that they're both on the same plane there Okay, we'll select both of those. Bring this back up to zero. Okay. And then this way it's on the build plane perfectly. Now we'll select both of these and bring them over. Now we're gonna select both of these objects and we're going to align them in the center. This object needs to be about 10 millimeters wide. Okay, so we'll realign those. All right, we want to get down here and see how tall this is. This needs to be about a hundred millimeters. Okay. You can actually go even a little bit taller than that if you wanted to. Okay. Now something I'll show you that's really cool. This, you want to blend it into the shape. You want to get it into the sidewall and that's what we're doing right here. Get it into the sidewall a little ways. Okay, that way you know it's firmly attached. You don't want to go too far because then that'll happen. So there you go. It's attached. That looks good. Okay. Now, if you're not satisfied with this shape, if you're like, well, I want this to look a little bit different, you can always click on it and then go down to edit sketch. Okay. So you could take this and you could stretch it out, move move the shape in a little bit. Let me put that back there, hold on. We take these and we move them out. Okay, and you can take these and we'll shrink this down. Okay, and we wanna move this shape in just a little bit. Uh, you can select the whole thing, but um, let's just take this into here. All right. Don't want a sharp edge on there. So if you, let's say you reshape it into something, you want to change it. The point is you can change it that way by editing your sketch. So once you've made the changes that you want to make, hit finish sketch. So now that we have this set, what we want to do is make sure again that it's aligned, which it is. Now at this point, you want to make it about a hundred millimeters tall. Okay. All right. Once that's done, we're going to combine these two objects. 
Awesome. Cool. Now that that's set, we're going to 3D print it and see how it looks. Now that we have the completed 3D printed object, we'll remove the supports that we used to print it so that way the overhangs came out okay. Take off any of the extra little pieces. And now this will hold several hair ties, for example, and even some rings on top. Fill it with some jewelry and you're good to go. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe. And thanks for your support for the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Tinker Time.